Mm -hmm. Hey guys, Jolene Poffel here for the sixth episode of My Luigi's Mansion Let's Play. So let's get started. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be visiting Madame Clairvoya. Because... As you can see right here, we have five items in the rightmost slot. And that's what we need in order to capture Madame Clairvoya. So, without further ado, let's go do that. You might notice that I have one more boo than I ended the last episode with, but that's because I told you that I was going to be doing an off-screen capture of that boo that ran away from me before. So, let's go. Talk to Madame Clairvoya. Hmm? What is this object you have here? Show it, please, to Madame Clairvoya. But what's this? If it isn't Mario's glove, aha, still damp with the sweat of the living. That's really gross. Like really gross. Sweaty Mario gloves. And I said last time I was gonna wear it. Oh, no. Ugh. Anyways. Hmm, just one moment. Did I just say Mario? Could it be that Mario? Ah, I see now. Well, I see everything, so I saw it before, but now I really see it. So you are the brother of famous Mario, and you have come to this place to find him. Well, aren't you a good little brother? <laughs> Excuse me, I don't laugh much. Clearly, because no one laughs like that. Oh, oh, they come. Now, spirits, come. Come, spirits of power. Come, spirits of sight. Show me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, summon symbol of my clan. Use your darkling power to show all you, all us all you could. I mean, can. Show us all you can. Show us this, Mario. The light of the spirit comes. Show us what we seek. Oh, <clears throat> I see that your Mario lives. Well, he's not in the spirit world. But one cannot say he's alive. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Where is he? Where is he now? Ah, oh, the spirits of False Island. Uh, this is all I can tell you for now. Bring me another clue and I will show you that your brother to you. This clue no longer speaks to us. I don't know if you guys noticed, but she goes through like a little rhyming pattern. You'll hear a lot of the same sounds when she speaks. Hmm, what is this object we have to show, please? Blah, blah, blah. If it isn't Mario's shoe, why the soul is worn as if he walked a thousand miles. I think he probably did run a thousand miles. Because, I mean, he's Mario. Think of all of the games that you've played. He's definitely run a thousand miles over that time. So, earthquake aside. Oh, ahem. <clears throat> Your Mario is imprisoned, but where? Oh, where is he being held? Yes, a painting. Your Ma your Mario has been imprisoned within a painting. My orb shows an odd altar, and come on, you stupid orb! Yes, above it, your Mario trapped in a painting. Ugh, I can't concentrate. The spirits are leaving me. If you should know more about your Mario, bring me more of his dropped items. So she tells us one of the plot points we already know. So she's being stupid. If it isn't Mario's letter, give it to me. I will read it at once. Mm. Sure, it's okay. I'm a licensed letter reader. I didn't know you needed to have a license to read a letter, but then again, Luigi can't read it himself, so might as well have her read it. What, what? In the butt. Hmm, let's see. Look out for booze, Luigi. Is that all? Not a novelist, yo, Mario. This must have been written quite a hurry. I'm assuming since he's got captured by ghost and shoved inside of a painting. But yes, he was in a hurry. Uh, she talks to her spirits, causes a couple of earthquakes, because, you know, why not? Controlled earthquakes. I wonder how many people are dead. Listen, can you hear it? The inner voice of your sweet beloved Mario. Listen, lady. There's no incest in the Mario household. I'm his brother, and he is my brother. It's like just a brotherly love thing going on here. I don't want my brother to kind of turn into a painting and die. So he's not my sweet and beloved. That would be Princess Peach, who also sent like a thousand toads in here. But that's besides the point. Oh horrors, what is this? A king? King Boo? What is this King Boo? I do not understand just what he means, but beware of King Boo. This is what your brother wishes to say to you. Oh yes, a Boo who wears a crown. I see, this is King Boo. So, or Sue, ha. Huh? He is the one who has captured your, your Mario. Ah, I can say no more. The spirits leave me even now. More items, yay! 
It's Mario's star! What an otherworldly beauty! No shit, Sherlock. Really? It's a star. Of course it's an otherworldly beauty. It's not like on Earth there are just stars everywhere. Whatever. No one ever said that she was intelligent. Aha! I can hear it! Your brother, Mario! He cries out for you! What? The power of the boos! You wish to tell us something of, of their mysterious boo power? Oh, ahem. <clears throat> the boos do indeed have strange powers. When they gather in numbers, their powers grow stronger. But they do fear your mighty Poltergust 3000. Ugh, I fear I have only enough power to read one more of your brother's dropped items. My strength ebbs away. I'm a s I'm very happy that she waited until now to say she only had w enough power for one left. Because if I had two things left and she said that, I might just rage and like flip the table, and crush her orb, and make all of her incense fall on the ground and burn, burn the room. <sighs> Anyways, hmm? what is this object? Show her whatever. If it isn't Mario's hat, why it's so clean? It's as if someone just washed it. Sorry, sometimes I like to add a little drama, you know? This is no time for comedy! This is serious business here. Oh, oh, they come, blah, 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 my spirits. My peeps be coming tonight, and they will be showing me with my orb of power that I can do all that you can do. Ugh. Uh, the spirits return to me. I see, I see. I see your dear Mario. The scene appears before me. I feel like she might even speak in haikus. I'll have to check that later. What is this? Bowser? How can this be? I see a hideous form of Bowser. Is Bowser somewhere in this mansion? I cannot believe it, and yet I see it. I thought that Mario had soundly defeated Bowser. Has King Boo somehow revived Bowser? This could be horrible. Well, for you. Ugh, I know, the powers leave me, the spirits depart. This is all I can show you, Luigi. That was the last of my power, but I have given words to the spirits to have shown, so I can return to my painting satisfied. Send me there now, you vacuum-wielded rogue. I feel like she's hitting on me right now. But that aside... Ah, finally I can return in peace to my painting. Sweet happiness and oils. I thank you. I thank you, kind Luigi. The thing about Madame Clairvoy that bothers me a whole lot is her lips. I don't know if you guys were staring at them the whole time like I was. I mean, I was reading, but out of the corner of my eye, my focus was entirely on her lips. Because, I mean, did you see them? They were gross. They're like the size of her face. Anyways, let's get this key. This key leads us up onto the third floor. Nope. No, what are you doing, Luigi? What are you doing, waving doors? Silly, silly man. Hi, I'm Luigi. I mean, Booigi. Hey. No one's allowed to be Luigi but me. Sorry, you fool. Oh. Egads was just giving us a little hint in case you guys caught that with your eye. He said that if you wanted to, you could water the plants and certain things happen. Like, they give you money. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Anyways, I will see you all on the third floor. Hey guys, welcome back! And we are on the third floor, entering the room. Oh... I forgot to get something. So, I'll flash right back. Alright! Back again! I forgot to grab the ice elemental on my way, which is why I had to leave and come back. So anyways, the, um, there's a little, uh, story I want to tell you about what happened on my adventures to go get that ice elemental, and it should make you all want to make fun of me forever. So on that trip that I went to go get the ice elemental, a golden mouse appeared three separate times. Three times. Three times. Three. Wait, let me just count that again for you. Three times. Three times is a lot. And guess which time I got it. None of them. Like, how do I how do you even manage to get none of them? It's like pathetic. Like, 
three times it appeared. I just can't catch up to it. I wasn't fast enough. And this is why I hate these things. If you ever wondered why I hate bananas, this is the answer. I don't, there wasn't even a banana there! These bananas! What the... Alright. I'm gonna fast forward to when I catch this fruit. Let's get a key that leads us to the balcony. So, let's just get the frickin' ghost out of wherever he is. Little Boo Peep. He. <laughs> Little Bo Peep, you know? I hope this Boo. I hate when Boos go in hallways because you can't suck them up. Yay, little Bo Peep, you did the right thing going back into this room so I could kill you and your family. Get at me, get at me, Boo. Yeah, zero health and you didn't escape. You almost did, though. I saw it. You were thinking about it. Anyways, we have 24 Boos and we are going into the next area. This is the start of the next psychedelic trip that will be happening in this game. So these boos are going to start doing some crazy, crazy shit, and yeah, Luigi goes a little crazy. I mean, I would too if I was him, because there's, there's a, a bunch of ghosts made a circle around me and started spinning really fast and then threw me into the sky. I'd be scared. So, welcome to Acid Trip Time. This is the third Acid Trip. Meaning that this is the third boss. Let's not get crushed. And now, let's get started with this battle. This b boss is called Bulossus. Bulossus is... as in, like, Colossus or Gigantic, you know? All of them are mine. Let's get all these guys. So anyways, fun fact about Bulasis real quick. Um, in... He's got a couple different names. Um, in Japan, his name was Junbo Teresa. And t that means giant ghost, or jumbo ghost, or something like that. Something along those lines. And, uh... They got nice naming, I guess. Um, another fun fact is, uh, in Spanish, they, uh, named him Hercules, as in Hercules and stuff. So, I thought that was funny, because, once again, nice originality, Nintendo. Hercules. We just get Bulasis, as in Colossus Boo. I th I'm pretty sure if you use your vacuum, it makes them want to charge at you or something. Or you can get them to be in place or something like that. Anyways, this this boss is kind of a... Like, love-hate relationship. On some playthroughs, you'll just destroy him. And on other playthroughs, you'll get nowhere like I am right now. Getting absolutely nowhere. Aha, I got you. But if you use your vacuum, it kind of makes them want to charge you. I don't know. But anyways, we have blue losses here, and then in Germany, the name is it's Bulusis or something like that. So it's basically the same. Um, yes, I got one finally. As a nice interesting thing about this boss is that as you get more and more boos, the boos become much more cautious of you, and they don't get sucked up as often. And, yeah. Okay, I'm stuck on this frickin' spirit. It's glitching me. Yeah, I got one. Over here somewhere. What? I hate this. When I said the love-hate relationship it meant for other people, I've always hated Blue Losses for me. 
Like, he's always been the worst boss in the game for me. I can beat King Boo better. Spoiler alert, by the way. If you didn't actually think King Boo was going to be a part of this game, congratulations. You now know. I don't know if anyone else has made this connection between Bulossus and Jalhalla from Wind Waker, but it's just something that comes to mind because remember that he broke up into a bunch of pieces just like Bulossus, and it was really annoying! Okay. Yes! 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 He's mine! I got him! Ooh. As you can see now, I got destroyed. Um. But, there we have 39 boos. That was 15 boos that we added to our collection since we had 24 before. So we're almost done with this game. The A couple more facts I wanted to shout out about Boulosis, but I kind of was like offset because I had to keep skipping around for all the times I failed. Um, Bulossus appears in the Mario Uno cards as the draw card for. I didn't know there were Mario Uno cards until I looked it up and did a little bit of research. And on the Mario Kart Double Dash Luigi's Mansion course, uh, or the Luigi's Mansion Battle course, in the race course in uh, the Mario Kart DS, uh, Bulossus makes an appearance as a painting on the wall. Alright, time to go to the Ghost Portrification Izer. Do do do. Do do do. I guess, by the way, I think you should be proud of me because I actually said portrificationizer properly. So, I don't expect to get a lot of good things here because my health was low, and I think it doesn't matter how many times you get hit, it's as much health as you have. So, I didn't get hit on a lot of my bosses, but I might not have had a lot of health going in, so I might have gotten a lot of bronze, which would make me really mad. Expected that. Yay, of course, gold on Madame Clairvoya. Silver on Biff, because he's not so easy. Silver on him. Slim. Silver on Petunia. Silver on Nana. And we got gold on the twins. So, let's go. Let's check out exactly what we got. Madame Claravoya is gold. Biff Atlas is silver. Nana and Miss Petunia are both silver. Slim is silver. The twins are gold. And... Bulosis is bronze. Yay for failing. So, let's check out all the money I've gotten so far. Do do do. Yes! So much money! Thirty-six million dollars. Almost thirty-seven. And I don't quite know how long we've been recording due to all of the cuts, but I'm going to stop it here. We'll start Area 4 next time. I've been Jolie Poffel. This is episode 6 of my Luigi's Mansion, and I hope you all join me once again next time.